Hello everybody, it's Fred Hassan with Sit Mean Sit Dog Training and our video for the day. Today is part five of our half hour session with this dog and people aggressive German Shepherd. Now the owners have told us he cannot get near any dogs at all. Well, he's gone after almost every one of them he sees, so we're bringing the dogs out today. We'll see what happens. And there we go, right right away. Um, he's got his muzzle on and just kind of muzzle hit uh, this other dog a little bit and just quicker than I could uh, get him under control there. And that's why we keep a muzzle on the dog. And we're already aware that they, that, uh, you know, you take them in a distraction. So we're gonna, we're gonna battle with this head on right here. This has been going on for a long time. And this dog can't normally see these dogs at all with going after one after the other and it, and it didn't really matter that his muzzle was on because the dog knows his muzzle was on but he sees those dogs and there he goes so we're going to get some work in here and i got to go right back now to getting this dog's attention right to what we established with nothing around except now we got all kinds of dogs and he's barely paying attention because he's just looking for a reason to head in some other direction so um, we're going to show you this uh uncut and, and uh, we get a lot of our sit mean sit trainers here that have their dogs off leash and uh, under control and uh, uh, you know we do this quite a bit and uh, we'll uh, get this stuff going pretty good here now, of course what you can do with nothing around isn't really that important because you know you want to be able to take your dog places and um he's probably not going to see this much action with dogs and and not only do the dogs bother him but all this motion and movement and and balls and he's, he's coming right back up to this dog that he initially had the problem with and i'm um i'm uh, fighting with him a little bit here but uh you know the dog has been doing this a long time and um we're gonna get some manners in him and uh just have him pay attention even around uh this distraction and you can see here where our nonverbal communication at first, uh, you know, I could tell him stop, no, or quit it, but he, his mind is really everywhere with these dogs. So we're still working on just having him pay attention. And once we beat this here, and all of this is just in one half an hour ses session, once we beat this here, uh, you know, he'll, he'll be uh, well on his way. And normally he'd be taking shot after shot. So uh, I can already feel I've got this uh, back under control. And here you'll see me uh, just push him backwards a little bit. I don't want him um, uh, pushing me out of the way. I'm, I'm keeping it so when he stops, he needs to back up. You'll see me just stop and move into him a little bit there. Um, I don't want him running me over because he has a tendency when he sees these dogs around to just not pay attention and run you right over. It's a pretty strong dog. And uh, we had worked a little bit with him laying down, and now I'm just going to keep him there. He's... Uh, uh, we've got him pretty well under control now. I don't think we're going to have any more problems here with these uh, dogs on him, and we're going to we're going to push the envelope a little bit more. And again, this dog going after every dog that he sees and any kind of movement. This has uh, been going on uh, long before uh, we got here today. So this is really the first time I've seen the dog. They've been through uh, three or four other trainers. So this is the same dog that he was initially having the problem with. And um, and you can see the dogs are pretty resilient, even the little dog. He's just, uh, you know, he's going right back over this dog like nothing ever happened. Focus right here, focus right here. <laughs> and he's paying pretty good attention now and no, not much of a problem. And normally, like I said, uh, this dog wouldn't even allow somebody to come up uh, close to him like you'll see Anthony here petting him and stepping over him if it's really any type of strangers and any sort of dogs 
uh, that will come in his direction will set him off. And, and, and normally he doesn't get right back in line either. You know, he sees movement or he sees another dog and it's just one after the other. But uh, it, it's getting under control here. And we've already established with him when you when you start these dogs with nothing around it's easy and then they see the motion uh, like this dog saw initially with the dogs and they just kind of you know lose their head a little bit because they've been used to doing it and just start going after things but uh, we're not going to let that start again and now uh, Anthony Brashanti from our uh, Denver office should be able to uh, just uh, put, his, put his dog uh, right on top of them. And step away. All right, so we got this thing uh, pretty well under control here with the dogs. Now we got the line really loose with the dogs around. Um, Feel a lot more in control of him, uh, but stay tuned tomorrow because tomorrow the muzzle comes off and we get the owner off out there and we take the sit means sit collar off. So stay tuned. So until tomorrow, sit means sit.